a German nightclub in the shadow of the Third Reich, the Tony Award-winning musical Cabaret is playing through the weekend at the Strad Center in Tampa. And I'm joined today by Randy Harrison, who has the starring role of the MC. Randy, great to talk with you today. I'm happy to be here. I've heard so many great things about your performance, in particular awesome. the show. I like that. So yes, it's going to be I, we, it's going to be something that we definitely want to see. But I have to ask you, was this something a role? I mean, it's got to be so much fun in your business to aspire to play this role as this the is MC. A dream. Role. Right? I mean, this is a dream role. It's one of the best musicals, I think, in the canon of American musical theater. It's smart. The music is iconic. Everybody knows and loves these songs. And it's a role that um, it, it, there's so much you can do with it. There's so much opportunity for improvisation. It's both really serious and really funny. There's great dancing. There's great singing. And there's very few roles like this. And I, I know that you bring a lot of depth to it. What was your goal in, OK, how am I going to put my signature self into this? It's hard not to. I mean, uh, it's it's a role that sort of opens itself up to the performer. The more that you can bring of yourself, the better. And um, there's a lot of depth because there's a lot of depth to the story. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very smart. It's very funny. But it also takes place during, uh, you know, when Hitler's coming to power. And right. it's sort of about how the political situation affects all these people. So um, it's hard not to bring a sense of depth to it. I'm sure. Yeah. And of course, this is something, too, where I understand this production is more edgy. Is that mm -hmm. a good way? to describe it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's very edgy. I mean, it takes place during a, a very desperate time period in Germany. There was a lot of poverty. There was a lot of uh, experimentation with sexuality and challenging gender roles and uh, sort of dirty, gritty satire politically, socially. So uh, I feel like the they really went back to the source material and went back to what the Weimar era cabaret was like in, in the 30s in Berlin and, and mined it for all its mm -hmm, worth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it has the depth, but it also has so much fun it's really in terms fun. of the musical numbers and the dance numbers, they're mm -hmm. amazing. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, I mean, I love Cabaret. Andrea Goss, who plays our Sally Bowles, sings Cabaret. It's, you know, everybody knows and loves the mm -hmm. song. It's near the end of the show. It takes place in a, a really dramatic, pivotal moment. And I think it's amazing for the audience because everybody knows and loves that song, but they don't really... A lot of people forget the context that it mm -hmm. takes place in in the story of the show. So seeing it in context, you, you uh, it has like really double and triple meaning, um, and it, it's so beautifully designed. She sings it so well. The lighting's amazing. The audience goes crazy. So it's a wonderful moment in the theater. And so Randy, I know it's got to be fun too with your role as MC. Mm -hmm. It's it's going to be a little bit different all the time because you're interacting with the audience. It's constantly different, and every city's different. And the Straz has been amazing. We've we've had two shows here, but at the beginning of the second act. I I go out into the audience, mm -hmm. I dance with people in the audience, and getting access is always different depending on the staircase and the uh -huh. kind of audience. Um, so I end up crawling out into the audience, and every every city kind of has, has a different vibe. I bet. So it's, yeah. it's not just the getting used to the logistics of the theater, but no. it truly is, okay, feeding off what kind of attitudes do yeah. the people that I'm in performing in front Absolutely. of Absolutely. And Tampa has been fun. People okay. are game. They, they make a lot of noise, which we love for the show. I mean, uh, I'm constantly interacting the, with the audience. We want them to cheer we want them to comment on the action so Tampa has been game They're they're so fun it's been so fun to go out there and date people they've been really responsive which which makes the show so much better and so much more fun for all of us performing I'm sure yeah. and do you guys have I mean you have this amazing cast mm -hmm. it's got to be so much fun going on the road with these people that you work so hard with but having so much fun any kind of stories that you can tell us from on the road or something that comes to mind that's special about this particular group of people that you're working with uh, this this group's amazing. This group's amazing. I will say, you know, the weeks are so hard. We do eight right. shows a week, and most of our most of our sit downs have been a week. Sometimes we've had two weeks or a month, but usually it's a week. So our our one day off Monday, we travel. So I will say it's less interesting because it's our one day off. So we're all on the plane together, or on a bus together, and we just have our headphones on and we're like <laughs> zombies. Yeah, that's what we all do nowadays. Right? I know. I know. It's Mondays. <laughs> um, but it's been it's an amazing way to to really connect with people. It's an amazing way to see the country, mm -hmm. uh, especially with a show where um, that's so socially engaged and where you're directly interacting with the audience. And it's a it's a way it's an amazing way to sort of. Uh, bond with, with fellow artists. I bet. Get to know people. I yeah. bet. I love it. Well, congratulations. Thank you. All the great publicity you're getting. And here's all the information. Cabaret through Sunday, January 29th at the Straz 813-229-STAR or visit online straz.org. We appreciate it, Randy. Thank you My so pleasure. much.